what you ain't want. Sex sauce for the reruns. Time flew, so we feel fine. We are at the Emirates on a rainy day in North London. Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith. As always, my sidekick for these commentaries. Delighted to see Alan. We have Premier League action for you coming right up. It's Arsenal against Newcastle United. I love visiting this ground. I've rarely been disappointed with the entertainment on offer. Don't think I will be today either. Number five, Socrates. Number 13. Well, with an eye on Arsenal, we'll keep an eye on this player without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, I do like this boy because uh, I think he gives defenders a headache with his movement and with his power. The one to watch here. This is the Arsenal lineup. Bernd Leno starts in goal. Lucas Torreira starts with Kevin Campbell in midfield. And they just go with the one striker up front. Thank you for attending. Newcastle United's lineup. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Kevin Fort plays alongside Florian Lejeune in defence. Lorenzo Pellegrini plays with John Joe Shelby in the centre of the park. And here is just the one main attacker in this lineup. It's Arsenal to kick off. It goes out wide again. Well, he wants to run at them with the ball. It's good to see. Read to play well to intercept. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Lejeune. It's Manquillo. Now the possibility for a cross. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Good clearance. Newcastle go in and get the ball back. Now they can switch the play here. John Joe Shelby. It's Manquillo. Striding forward purposefully. Couldn't keep his balance on this difficult surface. It's a greasy ball. We've had quite a bit of rain. Not an easy one to control. Sayad Kolasinac. Mesut Ozil. Here's Brown. Kevin Campbell. Oh, he's been called offside here. You see over there, the linesman. Banging line. What a good decision.
Interception here. Mesut Özil. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? Well, sometimes you just have to clear it like that. Safety first. Now, can he cross it? Aiming at the near post here with a cross. Proper defending, under some pressure. Alan McAnally is at the Amex Stadium today, and he's got news of a goal for us. It's a goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Raheem Sterling. A low, powerful strike across the keeper. 16 minutes played, 1-0. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Matt Ritchie. Nolito. Lorenzo Pellegrini. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went to, straight to an opponent. John Joe Shelby. Certainly playing well enough to get their noses in front here. Here's Brown. It's easy for the goalkeeper coming out to collect. Now he wants to take them on. Cleared the ball. Mesut Ozil. It's very good skill, he's made the defence. Good stretch by the goalkeeper to push that away from danger. Foot. Matt Ritchie. Nolito. Tried to win it, but it'll be a throw. To the other flank. Here is Almiron. It's Manquillo. Well, they couldn't keep possession. They've given it away. It's been a goal at the Hawthorns, I think, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Everton. 31 minutes played, 2-0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. Great chance to go in front. Up for grabs here. Pellegrini. Arsenal. They'll be looking for another win. They played so well last time out, it was an away victory against Manchester City. Yeah, I think it might be a bit tougher than that 2-0 victory, so I've, I've got them down for a draw. Intercepted well. Here is Almiron. Muto. The build-up is patient. Four on the ball. McAnally has news of a goal at Brighton. It's a second goal for Manchester City. 36 minutes played, 2-0. We're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Keeper's ball, no question about that. It's a weak cross, really. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. They can spread the play now. Pellegrini. Well, now they can attack, and he's got support with it. Here's Torreira. Here's Brown. He could take them on here. That's safely away. Mesut Ozil. He could cross it now. Interception here. They've lost the ball. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum... Deep of defending two. here, but he's got the ball. John Joe Shelby. Lorenzo Pellegrini.
Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half-time. It seemed quite a long wait for that half-time whistle. We've not really been kept on the edge of our seats here, and I'm sure there's better to come in the second half. Well, you'd hope so. They're trying to show the first-half highlights up on the big screen, but it's only lasted a couple of seconds. It was instantly forgettable, that. It's Arsenal to kick off. Tough test this for the players in the second half and the referee as well, who might have a big decision to make. At the moment, he says we can play on, but that might be in doubt as the second half wears on. Pellegrini. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? And it's gone out for a throw. Matt Ritchie, chance for the cross. And the referee spotted that deflection, he's pointed for the corner. Well, the word average comes to mind about his first half. What do you think, Alan? Well, let's face it, he hasn't played particularly well. It's been poor so far, and his team needs him in the second half. Corner swung in. Good anticipation by the defender. John Joe Shelby. Nolito. Pellegrini. Nolito. Nolito! Well, he hit it well enough. Yeah, maybe just a bit off balance there, actually. Here's Torreira, Kevin Campbell, now Lucas Torreira. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture. Arsenal, they'll be facing Fulham away from home. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one, looking forward to it. More a uh, rebuke than anything else from the referee. He's just trying to talk the player into being a bit calmer, I think. He's been a bit rash, hasn't he? He has, but uh, I like to see that kind of refing. He's just given him a chance, and uh, he'll be hoping he heeds the warning. Papastatopoulos. As for Newcastle United, their next game, Alan? They're playing Brighton and Hove Albion in their next match, and uh, not much at all to split the two sides for me. When Bayern Munich come a-calling, the deal usually gets done. They make sure of that, and they have done here. It's a statement of intent, isn't it? They've earned £35 million for this lad, but he's got uh, good talent, good credentials. Kevin Campbell. Over the top of the defenders, and he could be in here. A great chance to go in front. And they have done. Well, that could be a big goal, because this side knows how to defend a lead. And he's just shaped his body there beautifully to stroke it into the bottom left. A good look here. Again, via the replay of the goal. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. Well, the team that are in front are going to try and keep in front with a change here. A player being brought on from the bench. So, Arsenal have the lead here.
There's a sub coming on for Newcastle. The visitors having lots of the ball, but you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing, that's bad enough, but no real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they just... And shoots! We're hearing about a goal at the Vitality Stadium, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 66 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Now Brown. So easy in possession. He's in here. And it's a goal! Well, how long's it been on? One or two minutes, I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. Well, he's followed the forwards manual, Alan, hasn't he, really, following up to get the chance when it comes off the keeper. Well, that's what a striker's game should be all about, anticipating the knockdown and getting there first. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Out into the wide areas now. John Joe Shelby. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Still 20 minutes to go. News of a goal at the Hawthorns. Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Everton. 71 minutes played. 4-0. Thanks, Alan. A couple of options for him from the free kick, whether to go for goal or put it to where his teammates are lining up. Well, here we go. There's an air of anticipation for this kind of free kick and this kind of player. Hit it well! And that's a pretty comfortable save. Not the best set piece, but it was on target. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. The attacking team have got a problem here because the opposition are just sitting in and saying, well, you can break us down if you can. They think perhaps they can't break them down. Here is Almiron, Muto. Impressive, in possession, passing's good, possibly dangerous. He's a good crosser normally, but that's not a good cross, goal kick. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Swung in from the corner. No nonsense defending, it was needed. Tam Maxima at the Vitality Stadium. There's been a goal. Alan McAnally can tell us about it. It's another goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Eric Lamella. A mix up between the keeper and his defence gave an easy opportunity that he made no mistake from. Ten minutes remain, 4 0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. He tried to put it into the middle, but he's just put it behind, actually. And it'll be a goal kick now. Everyone seems to be at one today. The players, the supporters, especially the supporters. Listen to this. Well, they need a, a huge pat on the back. And it certainly puts a spring in the step of footballers down on that pitch. They will appreciate what they're hearing in that. It's 82 minutes played now. Manquillo. John Joe Shelby. They should win now, shouldn't they? 2-0 here, not much time to go. What impact will that have on the next game? Well, Arsenal go up against Fulham. Played with a lot of freedom out here. They'll be really pleased. Kevin Campbell. Pepe. 
Arsenal about to make a change. Pass, pass, pass. And the player with the ball has so many options, so they work so... With good vision. Onside and away. Oh, what a happy goal scorer. He's found the way past the keeper once already, and now he's knocked in his second. And the hat-trick is definitely on for him. What on earth is going on there with those defenders? In a 2 of V1, I mean, what chances the keeper got? Well, let's take another look at the goal. Well, I like the look of this from the neutral point of view, Alan. We're going to get an extra attacker on for the team that's done the better attacking that are leading in the game now. Well, they do say the best form of defence is attack, and that's uh, the principle he's taken here, the manager. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. Untidy work. Steered through. Oh, he's in the clear here. No flag. Good work by the goalkeeper. The point official has indicated... There will be a minimum of four minutes at a time. Nicola Pepe. Here's Brown. Brilliant technique in the tackle. Florian Lejeune. John Joe Shelby. Here is Almiron. Cut out the pass. He has brought a halt to it, that's full time. Well, you don't have to dominate a game to win it. This game is proof of that. You certainly don't. And the little score line in the top corner of the screen is what matters more than possession. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. So often we think of his creative abilities, that knack of picking out a pass, but today it was all about his finishing. A really good couple of goals in this team win. It's Arsenal to kick off. Keep his balance on this difficult surface. It's a greasy ball. We've had quite a bit of rain. Not an easy one to control. Pellegrini. Nolito! Well, he hit it well enough. Yeah, maybe just a bit off balance there, actually. Over the top of the defenders, and he could be in here. Oh, that could be a big goal, because this side knows how to defend a lead. Now Brown. So easy in possession. He's in here. Can't hang onto it, the keeper. And it's a goal. Well, how long's it been on? One or two minutes, I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. Vision. Onside and away. Oh, what a happy goal scorer. He's found the way past the keeper once already and now he's knocked in his second. 